Yes, you read the title correctly. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Right off the bat, this is my editing Instagram, and you should go follow it if you don't already. So, if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that one of my first videos from around like May of last year was me and After Effects editor trying Video Star for the very first time. I was so painfully unsuccessful and bullied so much for it in the comment sections that not even a week after I posted that video, I was like, I'm never touching Video Star again. I'm never trying it again. All of you guys think I'm so stupid because I can't use this app. So after a solid year, I think, of totally avoiding Video Star, I'm going to be trying it for a second time. But this time I'm going to be following along with a tutorial because a lot of you guys suggested that I actually have some guidance this time around. I'm very ready and excited. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Vivian's beginner's tutorial because I always see it in my recommended and I trust Vivian more than anyone else to teach me Video Star. So shout out to Vivian. Okay, Anyways, I'm horizontal so too, by the on way. on the right side, you have the plus sign. That is where you want to go. When okay. Edit. I see. On right when it pops up, you have the format. If you want it long ways, if you want okay, square. Okay, what are you going to do, Vivian? I'm just going to do it square just because okay, these photos. Me too. And Besties. instead of, you're not going to do select song, you're actually going to edit video. And so okay. the video that I saved, um, okay. and it's cropped weird because the video was long. Oh, wait, I need a video? I'm just going to, wait, you know, wait, wait. <laughs> I was thinking this was kind of a photo type of situation, but okay. All right. The only video I really have to use is this video of Nicki Minaj swimming. So I guess we're going to do that. Find what, how much of the edit I want to actually use. So I'm just going to use all of it. And I'm so you can, this you know, so you can play it, see which one, like where you want to stop I'm going to start it. there. Um, and then this little button right here, and then there. where you want it to like set end. Okay, that's pretty simple. So then after that, you're just going to make video. Make video, and it's okay. it's going to process. And Perfect. it's just going to be the audio. Taking way longer for her because I got the simplest, most low quality video ever. <laughs> I like the Christmas colors. That's cute, so video star. now that it's open, the next thing you want to do is split the clips where the beat drops, where you want those transitions oh, to go. Oh, I don't go. know where the beat drops. So I, I have it here. I'm just gonna look at where the creator of this original video split it. Okay, I'll so split it. So I'm just going to right to do that. Here. You're gonna go to edit, okay. and then quick split right here. Edit quick split. Quick split, split please. Split okay. on the right side. Split, split, split. And there you go. Split. You have a split clip, and then I'm gonna do it Done. again. Okay, I'm just gonna have two clips. Now that the clips are split, you're going to import the photos. All you have to do is go to. Oh. The right Oh, that's her doing the audio. That is so awkward. I thought she was using this video to edit. Maybe I should have watched the first minute of this video. Let's just disregard this whole video situation that I just did. Love you though, Nikki. Right where it says new. New. Import photo. Import photo. Recents. Recents. Choose this one right here. This one. And you can use your fingers to just zoom in, you know, where you want okay. to crop. I like it like this. All the way out, all the way in. I'm just going to crop it like this. Perfect. Import. Import. And there it is. It's in there. Yeah, so it is. I'm going to add another one. Oh, it's on the... Wait, new, oh, whoa, wait, 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 oh, okay, new import photo, yeah, I got it, on the same face, this one. recent, this okay. one, crop it, yeah, import, and boom, there you go, boom, there. what you're going to do is go to new again, and you're going to click multi-layer, it's right new, here, new, multi-layer, multi-layer, so now it's just a blank slate, and it has layers okay. with the numbers on the side, you're going to click the one, one, and then the photo that you had, you don't want to click the first one, because that's the audio, you yes, click the, the Nicki Minaj so is the audio, the photo, photo to work with, and now this is where the keyframes start, Edit keyframes. And the confusing graphing things. So okay. I'm going to edit keyframes. Yes. Key oh, I went a little bit ahead of her. Sorry about that. So I guess for this transition, I'm just going to do a rotation. I maybe. like that. So it might look a little bit confusing and be like, what do these buttons mean? But I promise Yeah, you that's what I'm thinking right now. Like, what do these buttons mean? Easier. So actually, what the first mean? thing on the right side where it says mirror, you're just going to click that. You, I don't really Wait, wait, wait. Two eights. You went back somewhere and I wasn't aware. Cause I'm currently on little anchor with the arrows and you're on the one, two, three, four, five. It gets better and it gets easier. So actually the first thing oh, on the right go? side where it says oh, mirror, yeah. you're just gonna click that. You, I don't really get, know anyone's mirror. fine. I'm just gonna click this one on the left. This one? Okay. So what that's gonna do is when you have the transition, it's not gonna make the background. Mirror edges, it's gonna make essentially. The picture have these okay. motion tiles. Yes. Um, edit keyframes. Edit so keyframes. I'm just gonna do a rotation. For rotation, I'm gonna go all the way to the end because we want the clip to be rotated. End of the now, end. Now, right end, here end. at the bottom is the rotation. Oh! Okay, so see how it goes this way and you drag it with your finger? Yes. Here's, and I'm just gonna do a basic rotation. Me too. So I'm gonna just drag it to where I want. I'm gonna do about, you can do- Okay, I'm gonna copy 40, you. 45, everything's different. Anything's based on what you think. And so you see I'm the doing straight what you line think. right there. I'm gonna click that. Oh, what line? And this is the graph. Oh, graph. This is like how fl slow and how fast the transition is gonna go. Okay, yeah. So each graph graphs. is different and there's a lot. And it might be I, overwhelming. There are but a lot. These are the graphs that I stick to. So the left is where the side of the graph, the very far left is the 
the graphs that I choose at the first part of a transition. So like the beginning. Yes, I understand what she's right saying. side of the graph over here. I like how she explains the this. And because it's the beginning. Because even though I understand it, so I'm people may not. Sorry so if you're speaking over you, line. sorry. I'm gonna pick this graph right here, okay? Yes. So it's gonna go. Not today, copyright. There you go. The clip is a little Wait, long. Uh, do I have that too? <gasps> Twin! Wait, I didn't even have to add a diamond. It just did it. Wait, videos are low key like knows. Like all I needed to do was change the rotation at the end and it was like, we got you, we know exactly what you wanna do. Well, put me on the grill and call me a uh, corn on the grill because that was very simple. Even though that looks really good, we want there to, we want it to be even smoother. We want to I was, add the smooth effect. I was thinking so, that, like, where's right, the blur? We're gonna exit out of the keyframes thing like I just did. Wait, and no, I didn't see what you just did. We're gonna exit out of the keyframes thing like I just did. Okay, we're out. And instead of, we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to blur. Where's that? <laughs> so we're gonna go to blur. We're gonna go to Oh, blur. she clicked on layout. Where's blur? Oh, you have to search in effects. Spin blur. So here we go. This blur. Is wait, 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 wait. We're spin okay, spin blur. Okay, we got it. Ooh, why does mine look like that? Why does mine look like that? These blurs are what's gonna help each transition become super smooth. Yeah. So see how it's the whole clip? You don't want it to be like that. So exactly. you're gonna do the tracking blur. Where? Where? Oh, I see it, I see it. So it got Wait, let's see. Whoa! Oh, it worked! Oh my god. Wow, and it looks good. Wow. I feel like I can do anything right now. Like, it's just, it's a lot for me. So that is the first transition that you have. Yes. So now it's time for the second. Oh, wait, where are we going? Okay, create. I... To use the selective layer effect, you need to own the Cinema Pro Pack. Well, I don't, okay? I, I don't own it. What if I can't pay for it? video is not to you know post this or anything it's just to show that I can do it and we can very much see that I can do it I'm just gonna click cancel and then we're gonna just gonna go to the next clip and then copy Vivian so you guys saw that though it was good even though it's gone forever it was good so next it's clip. basically the same thing multi-layer one click your Multi photo oh, mirror oh, oh, oh wait 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 oh what do we just do new multi-layer where, why is it white? What did she just say? Thing multi-layer, one. New, multi-layer. Click your photo, mirror. Oh, I forgot to click the photo. Oh, okay. Click photo. See, that's doing this. I'm like, wow, I can't follow like the most simple steps that Vivian is explaining so eloquently and nicely. Mirror, this is what she was doing. Okay, now we can follow. Edit, Edit the keyframes. Key and now the rotation that we did was 45 Five. so we're gonna go the opposite clockwise way. clockwise oh, i'm gonna do like five. this so we might want to end a little bit fast because the clip's a little slow so i'm just gonna drag it to zero zero from 45. so i'm gonna go to the Oops. end and this is where i'm gonna change the graph so like i said the graph okay, I did on it. the left side is the first transitions and the graph on this it on the right side is the ending so I'm gonna choose this graph because it's the opposite of the one we chose. Which one? For yes, I knew. I knew it was gonna be that one. So now it's gonna have a fast I knew it. ending. I knew it. There you go. Yes, uh, it looks so good. Ending, but then you have to add the, the tracking blur. blur. So I'm just gonna search it. Uh, wait. Um, uh, and then we're gonna go to tracking spin, blur. Slimber, There's slimber, other blurs that uh, you can do just to once blur. you get more experience <gasps> and you really understand what's going on. I did it. But it's gonna track the transition. You yes. Make it smooth. <gasps> I did it. Ariana. Done. And create. Oh yeah, I can't create because I don't have this feature. But like, we're seeing this, right? There is your first transition, and you did it all by yourself without other people. I did, and I'm sure it looks great. So, I just can't watch it. The slide down transition, it's still very similar to the same process okay. of the rotation. Multi-layer. Only this time, oh, it's oh, just going oh, to oh. a downwards motion. One, photo, okay, okay. I didn't keep, okay, okay. To a downwards motion. So I'm gonna keep the motion tile, the mirror tiles. Oh, I forgot on mirror, wait. Um, <laughs> And I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna drag the clip mm -hmm. as straight as possible, straighten it out. Now it doesn't matter how far you go, but I'm just gonna go about here. It's kind yeah. of just what you want. And it did it. then you're gonna bring this back. But once again, it's really slow and it's oh. the whole time. And we don't want oh, that. she's doing the rotation so slide just combo. It, it goes down. Then we're gonna go over here to path. Path. The first graph because it's going down. First graph. And there we go. It's really fast, but now we need Ooh, the that smoothness looks good. and oh. 
We're gonna search. Uh, spin, blur, spin blur. Motion blur. But it's tracking blur. <laughs> I did it, I tracking did it. Tracking blur. So see how I made it so much slower? Oh my God, that looks like blur mode curves. It literally looks like blur mode curves. there we go. And there's many other ways people can do this. There's like smoothness and everything just depends on you. So here's yes. what it looks like all together. Deliver! Now we have the second clip. Let me cancel, and yes, second clip. Okay. See? Mm. Multi-layer. You get in a routine the more you do it. Yeah, no, it is kind of like a routine. mirror, we do this one. Mirror, yeah. Okay. And keyframes, now instead of going down, we're gonna bring the clip up, the opposite. Up. And then and I'm then just gonna end it kind of randomly. Bring it like that. Back, as straight as I can get it. Yeah. Then we have the, the path. Path. Wait, wait, let me try to guess the path that she's okay. gonna use. She is gonna use this one. And it's on the right side. Yeah, so I knew ending. it. So there it is, nice and quick Perfect. And fast. Okay, now back. And we go. Layout, back. search, blur, spin blur, tracking blur. Did it, did it in and record there time. Is, there is a second part. So now this is what this- I look at that. She's beautiful. So after a long and hard 20 minutes, I can proudly say I understand video star. I know, I know. No one thought this day would come. I didn't think this day would come. And I'm like really happy that I have this newfound knowledge. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you would like to see me try new editing apps or revisit old editing apps I've tried in the past, just comment down below. Cause these videos are fun. I love testing my knowledge and failing along the way. But yeah, bye.